There are many questions that arise from the media right now. Who are Warren Buffett's kids? What will they get? How much is he worth? Are you one of those who are curious about how much their children will make in life? Luckily for you, Fortune Fastlaner, this video discusses the potential inheritance of a portion of his fortune, Buffett's net worth, and the overall benefits and downsides to doing so. Get the scoop on what Warren Buffett's children will receive upon his death and also get the chance to know his children. Warren Buffett is one of America's richest people and, according to Forbes magazine, he is the second richest person in the world before. He had a total net worth of $87 billion in September 2016. He is currently the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He is one of the most successful investors in the world and has a net worth of over $113 billion as of June 2022, making him the world's fifth wealthiest person. 36 years after announcing to Fortune that he would leave his children enough money so that they could feel they could do anything but not so much that they could do nothing, in 1986, billionaire investor Warren Buffett, now 91, still insists that his children will not inherit his $96 billion fortune. However, through their own foundations, they do play a part in his inheritance plans. When Buffett stated in 2006 that he intended to transfer 85% of his Berkshire Hathaway stock to charity foundations, with the majority going to the Gates Foundation, he elicited both astonishment and acclaim. Buffett went even further after establishing the Giving Pledge in 2010 with billionaires Bill and Melinda Gates, stating in a pledge letter that more than 99% would be donated to charity organizations both during his lifetime and after his passing. This commitment may not have appeared to prevent his own three children from inheriting his $100 million wealth, but it's not that quite straightforward. His children will receive presents to their respective humanitarian organizations from some of his money. Buffett probably had another objective in mind, giving them meaning and purpose that will provide them some income and power. Despite the fact that Warren Buffett still has $100 billion to donate after reaching half of his goal, he does not intend to leave any of it to his children. The legendary investor restated his long-held conviction on Wednesday that donating his incomprehensible net worth to charitable causes rather than his children's investment portfolios would be a better use of his money. According to the 90-year-old dynastic conduct or the transfer of enormous wealth from one generation of a family to another is less widespread in the U.S. than in other nations. And he predicts that its attraction will certainly decline. But that doesn't mean that Buffett's children, who are already in their 60s, haven't gotten anything from their father. According to a 2014 article in the Washington Post, Warren Buffett has financed a $2 billion foundation for each child. In order to give away 99% of his wealth before the end of his life, Buffett revealed in his statement that he donated shares of the Berkshire Hathaway worth $4.1 billion to five philanthropic foundations, increasing his total gift amount to $41 billion. The CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, who once held the title of the richest man in the world and now has an estimated fortune of more than $100 billion, intends to donate his remaining 238,624 shares to charitable organizations. As a result of the gift is painless and may well lead to a better life for both you and your offspring, Buffett labels his philanthropy the simplest deed in the world. By doing what I love to do over many decades, I have acquired an almost unimaginable quantity, he remarked. Neither my family nor I have made any sacrifices. Compound interest, a long runway, great co-workers, and our amazing nation have all just done their magic. My money is useful to society, but not to me. When Buffett initially revealed his intention to donate the great bulk of his wealth in 2006, he was 75 years old and owned 474,998 Berkshire Hathaway shares. The Oracle of Omaha declared on Wednesday that he is halfway there. Now, let's talk about Warren Buffett's children. Even though we're confident that the positives vastly outweigh the negatives, it must be at least a little strange to grow up as the offspring of one of the world's richest individuals, right? 
You can't tell us that growing up completely normal is conceivable if your father has enough money to purchase a medium-sized country. We chose to investigate the lives and personalities of Warren Buffett's three children, Susie, Howard, and Peter, in an effort to verify his claim. They are actually all wealthy as of this writing, so some of what we discovered was what we expected, but some of it was almost stunning. Some of them were at one point not rich. Buffett, who is thought to have a net worth of $105 billion, gained notoriety when he said he would teach his children the true value of money rather than leaving his large fortune to them. And if anyone is knowledgeable about money and values, it is the renowned investor. Let's check to see how he did. The untold story regarding Warren Buffett's children is presented here. In addition to his expertise in the stock market, Warren Buffett offers a wealth of parenting advice, particularly for parents with a ton of money like himself. One of the billionaire's golden rules is to hold back on the want to spoil your child beyond measure. He once famously told Fortune, you should leave your children enough so they can achieve anything, but not enough so they can do nothing. Furthermore, he added, My kids will carve out their own niche in this world and they know I'm for them in anything they want to accomplish. Buffett's three children made it plain in a 2006 interview with the New York Times that they always understood they wouldn't receive a sizable legacy from their father. And Susie Buffett indicated that, on the whole, their childhoods were very typical. Buffett has stated that he never compelled his children to do anything they didn't want to do, which turned out to include attending college, as the trio ended up quitting before receiving their degrees. But his children understood his expectations regarding inherited wealth. Howard Buffett told the newspaper, It was always obvious we weren't going to get a lot of money. What would you do with $50 million if your father told you either you can have $50 million a year personally or $50 million a year for the foundation? I would put the money in the foundation. The eldest of the three Buffett siblings, Susan Alice, nicknamed Susie, has frequently gushed about her completely ordinary upbringing, saying she didn't learn of her father's wealth until she was an adult. She told the New York Times, We didn't grow up with Warren being number two on the list. We were raised in a typical environment. Susie remarked in an interview with Business Insider, I didn't really have any clue about any money until I was far out of high school and out of Omaha. She added that she first learned her dad was at least moderately well off when she read about him in the press. The first time I thought, oh, there's more going on than I knew about, was when I read an article in the Wall Street Journal when I was about 22 or 23 years old. She added that although she and her brothers grew up in an upper middle class area, nothing out of the ordinary because her father's reputation and fortune arrived later in life. Like most people, her father went to the office every day before returning home for supper. Warren Buffett, Susan Buffett's father, may be the most well-known of her parents, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he has had the biggest impact on her. In reality, Susie had stated in interviews that her mother Susan, after whom she was named, was her role model growing up. In 2018, Susie told Baron Spencer that everyone in North Omaha knew my mother. Susie said she was not the type to just write a check and then go off to the symphony. She was in the community working and she would take me along. She told me once, I think I was about 10 years old, that if she didn't have any children, she would have been marching down in Selma for civil rights. Susie said both of her parents were passionate about equal rights for everyone, but her mother was the one out there. Sadly, Susan Buffett, Warren's wife, passed away in 2004 after suffering a stroke. But it is obvious that her daughter and other children carry on her heritage. Susie Buffett, like the rest of the Buffett family, is well-renowned for her charitable work. The three children of Warren Buffett each have a cause close to their hearts, and the oldest causes are social justice, education, and families. The Susan A. Buffett Foundation was renamed the Sherwood Foundation, which has a straightforward mission statement of... The Sherwood Foundation promotes equity through social justice initiatives enhancing the quality of life in Nebraska. The foundation has strongly held values regarding civil liberties, equality, and fairness with a particular focus on women and people who are oppressed because of their race, sexual orientation, and slash or religion. 
according to the website. According to a 2020 Los Angeles Times article, Suzy has donated over to 550 school programs and has made some of her most notable gifts to Omaha's public schools. Suzy Buffett's Early Childhood Fund, which supports pre-K programs for poor children and communities with fewer resources, is featured in an article in Inside Philanthropy. The article also describes how the fund collaborates with other philanthropic partners. The Times reports that over the span of 20 years, the Sherwood Foundation alone has given $1.3 billion to other Nebraska-based charities. It's likely Howard Graham Buffett's politics has set him apart from the rest of his family. He is the middle kid. He is not only the only Republican among Warren Buffett's three children, but also the only one to really pursue politics as a career. He reportedly rolled his eyes when he said they're all leftists in a 2006 interview with the New York Times. Along with casting his vote for the GOP, Howard has taken a more active role in politics by running for local office. The son of a billionaire was elected to the position of Macon County Sheriff in Illinois in 2017 after spending many years working there, according to the Chicago Tribune. According to the newspaper, Howard decided to remain in the state once his term ended in 2018. He has declared his intention to run for Macon County Sheriff again for 2022. But he postponed his campaign immediately after doing so because a peculiarity in local law raised the question of whether he was even qualified for the position, according to a local NBC News affiliate. However, everything seems to be done with good intentions. He has his mother's DNA. He genuinely views every individual as a human being. It's not an act with him at all. He's always been like that. As a proud dad, Warren told the Chicago Tribune. Howard interacts with people and he sympathizes with folks who have not as been lucky in life. Similar to most of the Buffett kids, Howard Buffett has a solid reputation among the general public. However, that doesn't mean he hasn't faced a lot of scrutiny and controversy over his career. In particular, a 2019 Phoenix New Times investigative journalism report exposed the possibly concerning manner in which Howard had been spending his income close to the Mexican border. The newspaper claimed that Howard had been spending millions on equipment and training facilities and essentially buying off the Cochise County Sheriff's Office to fund his own border war in Cochise County, Arizona. To date, Buffett has given nearly $30 million in gifts to CCSO and related entities. The money has arguably been used to militarize and steer the rural sheriff's office into Buffett's own border enforcement agenda. To his credit, Howard has offered an explanation for this favoritism, claiming that the Border Patrol's refusal to accept private funding restricts their ability to increase force multipliers and that his financial assistance is an attempt to get around that and work through the sheriff's department make them the ccso assets and have the border patrol work with us fox news later made the connection between this report and howard's 2018 book our 50 state border crisis how the mexican border fuels the drug epidemic across america noting his belief that one way to improve border security is through proper properly equipped law enforcement. However, as of this writing, there have been no other updates on these claims, and the reality surrounding this situation remains unclear. The three children of Warren Buffett are all well-known philanthropists who each prioritize a different cause. Conservation and the environment are important to Howard Buffett. Additionally, it's obvious from Howard's experience as a farmer that he approaches farming and his connection to the land quite practically. According to a feature on Howard in The Atlantic, he initially got involved in trying to find ways to solve world hunger while working as a conservationist in Africa. There, he helped to rescue endangered species and publish books of his own nature photographs. Regarding world hunger, Howard stated, It's an overwhelming issue. I would respond, Well, you're probably right. It is very daunting. But how do you know if you don't try? To someone who said, You can't make a dent in it.
in particular on the African continent where Howard has reportedly traveled to every nation, his organization, the Howard G. Buffett Foundation, has donated to charities that support cutting-edge agricultural solutions. According to the Atlantic Peace, Howard stands out for his determination to, to persevere in situations that others might consider be too corrupt or dangerous. You shouldn't enter South Sudan unless you're ready to take a risk, he advised, adding that you should prepare for disruption as part of your decision. We hope that we've helped you reach information about Warren Buffett and his children. If you want another content like this, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. That's it for this video, Fortune Fast Laner. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!